Hmm. I think I need another battery. <laughs> Wake up. Okay, that work is a little slow this morning. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Wake up. Doesn't even know where I am. What the hell? Feels good out here this morning, I can tell you that without even looking at the phone. It's uh, mid 60s, a little humid. Well, apparently, um, I'm not connected to the world. Is this the beginning of the end? There's no internet connectivity anywhere. There's no uh, no Wi-Fi for me. No uh, no network. Is the grid down? Ah, there it is. All right, 60 degrees, man. It is uh, good and chilly out here this morning. I like it. There's that, and the humidity's high, but you know, it's just because it's so cold. It feels very very good out here. So. Happy Friday morning at 7.50 a.m. Headed out for yet another work commute. Have no idea what to talk about, as usual. Just uh, take it as it goes. I have to work again this weekend. I would love to get out for a moto camp, but it's not in the cards this weekend. Possibly next weekend, not really sure. <clears throat> but the weather's just amazing in this time of year. Uh, oh wait, that was a that was a slip. These shoes are not the greatest. Uh, if they're wet on the bottom, these TCX uh, boots. Look at this. They just there's zero traction. That's my full weight, and it slides right off. <laughs> they're not the greatest for uh, moto uh, shoes, in my opinion. Uh, and it's just because the uh, the soles. I don't know if I can turn my foot far enough and not drop the bike. There's no tread on these things. I mean, there's like a tiny bit to break up water, but uh, they're just too smooth. So, yeah, anywho. Off I go. And I cracked my knee on the... Uh, side support for that shad. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> my right knee is throbbing. It's the one I messed up when I passed out and collapsed in my living room a few weeks back. Other side of the road, dear. See you later. <laughs> Turning on the wrong side of the road. Ow! Knee is throbbing good. Ouchie. I caught the edge of this uh, support right there as I... I was heaving my leg up and over uh, right as my foot slipped off. So it was free fall, full weight right into that uh, metal support bar. Yeah, actually, it's going to be yet another bruise on that knee. And he's taking a beating. So what is going on in the world? Uh, I won't get into politics or uh, weather because I haven't watched enough to know what's going on. So stay away from those topics. Trying to avoid media as much as possible. When YouTube messed around with my AdSense account, I just decided, okay, you know, I'm just going to take a break from all the social media and kind of did a little mild digital detox for a while so I stayed off of it for the most part for three weeks or more almost a month I gotta say I didn't miss it well, I miss the community aspect I don't want to sound callous or anything uh, I, I enjoy the uh, interaction with the uh, people of Similar mindset, you know, uh, people that share the same interests and 
you know, banter back and forth on different topics. That's good and fun. But just all the other media, uh, you know, the constant propaganda engine and uh, indoctrination toward a particular cause all the time. It's just it's so old, man. I'm so tired of it. Movies, entertainment, everything. It's all trying to brainwash you or indoctrinate you into their way of thinking. It's, it's not entertainment anymore. It's punishment and penance to watch a lot of stuff these days, it seems like. I haven't been to any movies in a long time because of that. Because it seems like all the movies have just gone sideways it's always a political message and you know if you're going to watch something like that intentionally you know a documentary or even a mockumentary or whatever at least it's it's right on the surface as to what its goals are but uh, when you go to watch a an action movie or you know a drama or whatever and it's just non-stop constant social preaching within the message of the movie like all right i'm done i got up and walked out of a couple i just i couldn't couldn't stomach it. I was like, all right. Not what I want to watch. Wasted my $12 or whatever the movie ticket was. But at least I didn't uh, sacrifice any more brain cells than was absolutely necessary. <clears throat> there just haven't been any good movies that have come out in quite a long time. I was interested in watching uh, the latest Deadpool, Deadpool 3 or 4, I can, 14, I don't know how many they've had, it's turning into like Friday the 13th, but um, I think it's the third one, it's the one with uh, Wolverine coming back. That looked really funny, you know, some of the early trailers, uh, but then there was so much politics and nonsense surrounding it, you know, with uh, the movie studios doing all kinds of nasty stuff in the background and Ryan Reynolds basically telling them to F off and you know, I'm not going to play your game and uh, the movie almost didn't get released uh, because he was threatening to withhold a bunch of stuff and default on the contract and all that so I don't know I, I just I lost my taste for it then it's like alright well now it's political theater and bullshit so I have no interest in watching and I haven't changed that opinion so I don't know maybe when it comes to Blu-ray or something like that I'll buy it. You can't rent it anymore. <laughs> Redbox is gone. There's no more uh, Blu-ray rentals as far as I know. Video stores and were the first uh, casualty of the streaming paradigm and now uh, even the standby kiosks are no longer available. So, oh well. Find it on sale and buy it, I guess. I don't agree or uh, condone quote-unquote buying anything on uh, the streaming platforms because you're not buying anything uh, you are getting that on a long-term rental basically and if and when they decide to take it out of their catalog you're screwed you have no recourse you didn't buy anything and you can't watch it anywhere you want and a lot of those titles they don't even allow you to download to uh, a portable device or whatever uh, you've got to stay attached to the internet in order to get the DRM rights to decode it so yeah what's the point I'd much rather just buy a disc these days for 15 bucks or whatever it is even if it's 50% more expensive than quote-unquote buying it on the streaming service you know at least you've got a physical copy of it and you can watch it whenever you want rip it to portable media you know put it on a Plex server or whatever you want to do at least it's in your library and you can mess with it whenever you want and you're not beholden to a streaming service to give it to you when they feel like it. I have a feeling this is going to be a long, slow weekend. Not necessarily painful, but definitely slow. I'm doing a big cutover at uh, one of my client sites. We're doing a firewall cutover today and then we're going to mess with all the content filtering and the rules and stuff uh, later in the day and over the weekend making sure that that's working properly and providing that that goes off reasonably well um, we're also going to be replacing their core router in their network with uh, different equipment we've had uh, a big Cisco catalyst layer 3 switch 
running a collapsed core for quite a long time and it's been doing great it's a tank those things just run uh, 6506 re those things are just phenomenal 10 gig capable and uh, redundant everything pretty much so it's been running really well but it's very old now it's been in there close to 15 years i think i have to go back on my records but uh, we're replacing it with ruckus comm scope equipment we've already got those layer three switches in place they're just you know warm rack they're sitting there waiting to be used for the last several months and we need to switch over to it because the oversight board <laughs> has been looking at it going okay well we bought this stuff you know nine months plus ago and it's still not in production so what's the holdup well the holdup is it's a pretty intrusive change that's what we're waiting for the right moment so they just decided okay well it needs to be done let's do it this weekend uh, okay let's go let's do it get it done not a whole lot of crazy heavy lifting from the network engineering standpoint it's uh just a bunch of flat layer three routing static routes we're not running any protocols internally as far as uh igps or egps or anything like that we do have uh, a little bit of external stuff that's handled through a ospf route but nothing major it should be pretty easy to recreate over on the rocket side So that is this morning's task. Uh, hopefully I don't find out that, uh-oh, we still have people working today and we've got to work around them because that just uh, that doesn't work. Not for, a, not for an edge replacement, certainly not for a core replacement. You've got to have an empty plate to work with. Can't have a bunch of people, oh, well, I've got this meeting in 20 minutes. <laughs> that shit ain't going to work better be on your cell phone good luck man I would love to be road tripping right now this weather is phenomenal perfect road trip and camping weather I'd love to get the XT 250 running again get it out on the road for an adventure moto camp go out and disappear in the woods for a handful of days primitive camping off-grid stuff oh speaking of off-grid uh, I hadn't kept up with Starlink for quite a long time and now is probably not the best time to try to order because of all the hurricane cleanup and all the, the stuff going on but the Starlink mini was released a few months back and they have in motion mobile now so it's a much smaller dish or not dish panel it's like 18 inches by 13 inches or something like that it's not all that big it's pretty good size uh, for you know packability on a car or motorcycle or something like that so i might consider investing in one of those for the longer road trips maybe like cannonball stuff like that and see if there's a way that i can hook that thing up for uh, mobile streaming because 5G cellular connectivity is very problematic because it's shorter range than 4G and you're constantly hopping towers. So every time you hop the tower, your data connection hitches. It doesn't uh, it doesn't stick. So People are sitting here in a green light. It's been green. And I may have missed the green. We're going to find out. Nope, got it. I don't know if it's on a timer or a pad. <clears throat> I 
miss my breakfast place over here. Uh, the World Bakery and Cafe, whatever, World Bakery and Catering, whatever, yeah. They no longer exist, or the the bakery portion might, but not the uh, not the restaurant as we knew it. it. Was bought out by another group a while back, and they doubled, almost tripled their prices, and changed everything around. Different menu, different everything. Okay. Way to kill a business. Yeah, it was right there. Such a convenient spot, too. Because several of my customers are kind of right here in this general vicinity, so... It was a nice place to go sit down and have a traditional home-cooked breakfast. I can't really think of any other places like that other than Cracker Barrel. Uh, I'm sure there are, you know. We used to have 59 Diner over here and they're gone as well. Uh, 59 Diner was pretty decent. They got a little expensive though, just like everybody else has. If I can't sit down and eat breakfast for less than 15 bucks, then yeah, something's off with that, in my opinion. And of course, yes, I could cook at home or whatever, but time factor. <laughs> 